Hello and welcome to my talk at this year's Advanced with Field Experiments conference. I'm presenting joint work with Mark Andor, Manuel Frondel, and Andreas Gerster. Uh, we conducted a randomized controlled trial where we use a smartphone app to track individuals' mobility over three months, in particular for each mode, so for example, cars, buses, trains, and so on. For every participant, we see how many trips per day with this particular mode and how many kilometers per day each participant does. Um, in particular, so as I said, we track the individuals for three months. Half of these individuals were assigned the, to the treatment group, which received a, a public transport ticket, which was valid for one month in the specific region they live in. Um, and this leads us directly to our main research questions. Uh, we, we were interested to see, does this free public transport ticket increase their public transport? And also, do they exhibit uh, increased public transport even after uh, they receive the public transport, so when they have to pay for the public transport ticket themselves? Um, so let's look at the timeline of the experiment. In February 2018, we conducted a pre-screening. Basically, we, um, we asked uh, the participants if they fulfilled the technical requirements, so if they have an iPhone or Android smartphone with current software. Um, and also, in particular, we're interested in, in people that are mostly car drivers. So we additionally ask them whether they currently own a monthly or yearly ticket for public transport, which then uh, we didn't choose those individuals. Um, in May 2018, the experimental period starts. Uh, this is the baseline month. With, uh, in this month, we randomly assigned half of the participants to the treatment group and the other half to the control group. At the end of May, every participant received a letter with information about the app. Additionally, the treated participants received their tickets and also some general information about the public transport in the region and the validity of the ticket, which was then, um, yeah, then in June 2018, the ticket was valid. And in July 2018, we tracked the individuals for another one, month. Uh, here you can see some descriptives and the baseline travel behavior of the treatment and control group. Just quickly, um, in the upper panel, you see some socioeconomic characteristics of our 422 participants that were present in all three months. Uh, we don't find any significant differences. In the lower panel, you see the baseline travel behavior. For the trips, um, we can see there are no, no big differences between treatment and control group. The kilometers are a bit more noisy, but overall, it's pretty balanced. Um, as I said earlier, we look basically at people who are habitual car drivers. So here you can already see that the average car trips per day are about 10 times as large as the public transport trips per day. The same holds for the kilometers. Um, so looking at the results, um, if you look at the first column where the dependent variables are the public transport trips per day, um, we can see that uh, receiving the public transport ticket increases the public transport trips per day by 0.1 trips. Um, you might say this is not a big effect, and of course you're correct. However, keep in mind that, as I said, we have a sample of car drivers where um, the average public transport trips per day before the uh, receiving of the tickets was already very low, so it was at 0.2 trips per day. Um, however, um, this uh, does not come with a, with a reduction in the car trips, as we see in the second column. Although the point uh, coefficient is negative, it's very small and, yeah, and not significant. Um, we basically see the, the same picture with the kilometers in column three and four. And uh, if we look at the variable of the habit formation, we see that, well, 
there basically is none. So the coefficient is very close to zero for uh, almost all specifications and insignificant. So let me sum up. Uh, we provide evidence on the effect of the provision of a free public transport ticket to car drivers. Uh, we find that their usage of public transport significantly increases, but only for the treated months. Um, this does not come with a reduction in car travel, and we also do not observe any sign of habit formation. So thank you for listening. I would be happy if you have some comments, questions, and suggestions if you contact me via email. And yeah, thanks again for listening.